Hi guys, this is Lester Ruiz and this is my first video tutorial for Microtech. I'm going to show you in this tutorial how YouTube can set up a very basic and very cheap affordable video editing or audio editing studio in your house. Alright, so without further ado, let's see. I'm going to show you what I have and this is my first video. So if you guys like it, I will be doing more videos. Alright guys, so the first thing that you need to have is a small room in the house where you can comfortably set up your equipment, your microphones or whatever you're going to be using, your camera, your computer. I'm going to show you the room that I'm currently using for my video editing. And also this is the same room that we use for piano. So this is our piano room and it's also slash my computer room. Okay, so I'm going to show you. All right, so this is my setup right here. I have this sliding door. I have to close this door every time that I'm doing a recording. So as you can see, basically this is going to prevent any sound from entering into the room. One of, if you want to make your own home studio for video editing, you need to make sure the first thing is that you have good audio or at least regular audio and the first thing that you need to do is you need to prevent any noises from the outside to come in into the room, right? So for that reason, I have this door, All right? So one of the things that you need to have is good lighting. You want to make sure that the place where you're going to set up your computers is very well lit. And I'm going to show you here, all right? So I set up some lights. So I open the door and this is my computer room. Now I'm going to show you without the lights. It's pretty much like this. See, this is our piano. I got some lights on the roof. Now I'm going to turn on the lights. Four lights. All right? So the second thing you need to make sure is that your room, the place that you're going to be utilizing for the video editing is very well lit. So as you can see, I have installed some lights here. Uh, these lights are white lights and they are flu fluorescent lights. Those are the lights that you probably need to have if you want to get uh, as good quality as it is possible in your videos. All right? So I got these dolls here, but obviously they are not mine. They're my wife's. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to show you is basically you need to have a light facing you on your face. So for me, I went to the local, what do you call that now, uh, flea market and I purchased a desktop light. It's very useful, as you can see. It has another white light here, all right? So you can turn on this light here and you have to have one light facing you so that you, so that you can have your, your face very well lit as well. You want to have your face very well lit. Now, the next thing that I'm going to show you is my computer setup. Okay. Now, which, which kind of camera do you want to use for video editing and for YouTube? It basically depends on you. There are hundreds of cameras in the market outside there, but um, the one that everybody has is the cell phone camera. So if you are on a budget and you don't have money to buy a camera, then you can use your very own cell phone camera to record the videos. Nowadays, every cell phone has a camera and they record in HD, uh, HD quality. So that's pretty useful. I'm going to show you some of my, some of my videos. I record them with my cell phone. I have um, I have a Sony Xperia C3. This is one of the cameras that I use for recording videos. I think the camera quality in the C3 is very useful. It records high definition. Quality is amazing. Later on in some other videos I'm going to be talking about some of the applications for video editing and video making that I'm that I'm currently using. 
Alright, so this is one of my cameras. Now another thing that I used is my iPad. Now why do I want to have an iPad? Well, sometimes if you want to record, let's say that you want to record live streaming from YouTube, you can actually record it with your cell phone and you can see yourself in the in the in the iPad that's what I do sometimes because most of the time my computer I use it for reading what I'm going to say or for rendering videos or just for something else okay um, one of the things that you don't want to do is you don't want to use the 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 camera that comes with the laptop you don't want to use the camera the quality sucks and the audio if you record it straight to the laptop, that will suck too, okay? I will talk a little bit about the audio later. So let's see, now I show you my iPad. I have a little laptop over there. This is another laptop that I use for Sunny Vegas sometimes. I also use this laptop for anything like audio editing and whatever I want to use. If my main computer, which is this one, this is my main computer, is busy like it is right now, I'm rendering a video, then if I don't want to wait for that video to uh, to finish rendering, so I will just go to this laptop over there and work on, on something there, All right? So I got this mini laptop here, I, this is my main computer, this is a Dell computer. It, uh, this computer has been with me for over s seven years, so it's very old. It's time for me to change it, but I don't, I don't feel like it because it still gets the job done. So I have a Dell Latitude E6410. It has eight gigabytes of RAM and about 300 gigabytes of HDD hard drive. Alright, so. For the cell phone, if you're recording with your cell phone, one of the things that you need is basically you need uh, one of these. So as you, as you can see, I got one of these here on the window. I put the cell phone here and it will be facing me. Alright, so you want to have the cell phone facing you when you're doing your recording. So most likely you're going to have to uh, get one of these cell phone stands and with the suction cup so you can put it in the window there so you're gonna have to do that don't use the camera from the laptop and don't record the audio directly to the laptop because the audio will suck and the quality will suck now if you do wanna use the laptop for recording then you need to buy an external um, camera for the laptop that obviously will have a much better quality this is the camera that I use for my laptop as you guys can see this is the HD Samgo is a similar to the GoPro but you know this one cost me only $100 I bought it because it has Wi-Fi it's very compact easy to carry and also because it comes with the waterproof casing so when I go to the beach or something like that I will be able to go inside the water so I use this camera for recording outside and I also use this camera to connect as a laptop camera All right so which is pretty cool so I use this camera I use my cell phone and obviously I'm going to show you the camera that I'm recording with right now all right, so I'm going to record this video with the cell phone. As you can see, I'm going to bring my light over here a little bit. So this is one of the cameras that I use. This is like my main camera. Um, I see a lot of difference in the video quality when it comes to recording from my cell phone and recording from my camera, from this camera. I see a lot of difference so I prefer much much prefer to use my Sony camera this is a camera that I bought about five to seven years ago but it's still working fine for me it's a Sony I don't know if you guys can see the model number there DSC 
HX100V. Alright. So I think it's a very nice little camera. Alright, so this is what I'm using. Another thing that I want to show you is if you are recording your video with a cell phone, one of the things that, um, that is going to help you is try not to use the front facing, front facing camera as much. Try to use the back camera because the front facing camera, the quality is not as good as the back camera. So now if once you have the videos uh, that you need to do, what you need to do is import it to your computer and then what I used to fix my audio is this little program right here, Audacity. So you can use Audacity for improving your audio. Hi oh guys, this is Lester Royce here. Welcome to another... Alright, so this is what I use. Now to get the best quality of audio, what I do is that I record directly to the main camera, which is my Sony camera. That's one, one thing I do. Or the other option is to connect an external microphone to the laptop and record straight to Audacity. And the other option is connect the microphone straight to my cell phone and download an application for recording the audio and then transfer the audio to the computer. Uh, the last thing before I forget is my TV. This is just an extra TV that was laying around the house. And now I'm using it like an external monitor. I like to use this TV because I can, um, I can, I can move the windows across from my computer to my other screen over there, which is big and nice. And I like that. It doesn't have to be a, a very, up to date a string or anything like that. so you guys can do that too all right guys so this is lester ruiz if you like the video i will be doing some more tutorials later bye bye, -bye. i'll see you receive